So the Eagles pull off a really good win today. <laughs> um, 32 to 30 against the Houston Texans, a very good win. Um, Nick Foles saved the day, ladies and gentlemen. Um, did absolutely, you know, had over 400, 400 passing yards, four TDs, and, uh, you know, lit it up today. Lit it up today. And um, I got to give the guy credit. Stuck in the pocket, did what he had to do. Um, evade what he had to evade these defenders and, and make the throws that counted. Threw a pick today. Shit happens. Um, but offensively, I, I, we looked, it's, we look, you know, I know we're looking pretty good, but um, we're still doing stupid shit here and there. But um, overall, we did a great job. We got the balls to different receivers. A lot, a lot of receivers. Nick Foles is, is throwing it to whoever's open. And Nick Foles is throwing that ball to Alshon Jeffrey and still just throwing it up in the air and not giving a shit. And I'm glad because, you know, him and Alshon Jeffrey have a great chemistry. Now, you know, the offensive line in the first half was, you know, the offensive line the whole game did pretty damn good. Other than that, you know, with J.J. Watt with the uh, the strip, um, you know, the Nick Foles. Um, other than that, it, it was the, the protection was very good. It really was. Um, you know, when he, you know, when Nick ran out of the pocket, and he got chased down a little bit, but you know, he had time. He had time. As long as he has time, I don't care. Um, but that that was very good. A very poised in the pocket, very calm. Um, you know, the running backs, you know, Josh Adams got a few first downs. They went a little small and had a little bit less of the carries. And Darren Sproles had a shit ton of car uh, shit ton of reps uh, in the backfield today. Um, so it's been pretty crazy. Um, still, Golden Tate is not in this offense. Golden Tate has barely been in place, throwing him stupid balls. I mean, you got Richard Rodgers going that on a, on a tight end screen. His first reception of the whole fucking year. Why do you have the slowest guys? You have Jordan Matthews on a wide receiver screen. You have uh, Richard Rodgers on a tight end screen. I just don't fucking get it. I really don't. Um, <laughs> I really don't get it. At this point, I really don't. It's just, it's confusing. And I'm just like, okay. I just, why is Golden Tate on this fucking team? Then I saw Golden Tate on a kickoff return. I'm like, Jesus Christ. I mean, I just don't get it at this point. Um, uh, offensively did just very good. I mean, Nelson Nagler had that 83-yard bomb. Nick Foles bombed it 83 yards. Nelson Nagler did the same, fell in the end zone backwards, same as he did last year against the Arizona Cardinals. Um, and Aguilar, I'm, so, I'm just so glad he's been, when Carson Wentz is on the field, he's disappeared. Honestly, everyone has pretty much disappeared since Carson Wentz, when Carson Wentz was on the field. It was only Zach Ertz, and that's pretty much it. And Dallas Goddard probably second. Um, so, A, the offensive line did their shit, the running backs did everything, and Nick Foles just looked so good, but these referees today have, f I, just the calls, even against the Texans, they have some shit calls too, but the one on Nick Foles getting his fucking face mask grabbed, almost twisting his fucking whole head backwards on, the, on, on Clowney, and they, and they never called it, that was the, I mean, somebody's gonna get hurt, and it's not good. It's not, and, and I thought Nick was, like, done after a few hits. I thought he was. He got back up. Nate Sudfeld came in, and Nick came back out. I mean, I mean, the kid, the guy is a fighter. I think he, what, what the report said, he's had the, he had the wind knocked out of him, whatever. Um, but defensively, the first half, the Texans' offensive line really held us nicely. They really did. They accounted for everybody, and... We had a little bit of trouble getting after Deshaun Watson. I had two touchdowns on his own. Um, but, you know, Fletcher Cox, uh, Chris Long, and Brandon Graham shared to have that strip sack on, on Watson with Fletcher Cox on the recovery. Um, you know, Vontae Maddox actually played pretty damn well on Don DeAndre Hopkins uh, today. He really did. Almost had a pick, wide open pick, and he fucking dropped it. Um, but, you know, it's good to see Avante Maddox out there doing his thing. I mean, Avante Maddox knows safety. He knows corner. He knows he's played every fucking position almost. Um, and that's a good thing. So uh, I praise that. Jordan Hicks came back today. I think he just tipped the pass, but he was mostly spying on Deshaun Watson today. Um, did a pretty good job here and there. He did a pretty good job. 
Um, I know Deshaun Watson scored twice, but it is what it is. It's hard. It's hard. You know, with this secondary we have, it's hard. Even with a mobile quarterback, it's hard defending it with the secondary we have. Uh, but they've been playing together for a while, so it's been good. We were getting Deshaun Watson to the point in the second half where he was getting hit almost every play. Um, and, you know, uh, we, you know, Fletcher Cox had a sack, um, a separate sack, and um, we hit him a few times. And there was actually one time where Deshaun Watson actually got hit four times by each player on the defensive line. Um, you know, Tredavian Hester, a guy I fucking have hated, actually got an, a sack today, which was good. Um, got the Sean Watson on the ground. And defense was just hammering down, really hammering down. They were playing some man-on-man. -man. They were doing a mixture of things in this game today. So it wasn't just they were sitting back doing zone. They were going up and, and you know, the more weeks they're playing together and they're practicing together, the better they're going to be. Um, I know it's kind of too late now, but they played really well. And, uh, you know, defensively did good. You know, Jake Elliott's a fucking problem. I know he has done good things for us, you know, winning games for us with his foot. But he is missing, missed two fucking extra points today, which would have fucking helped us. Okay, and there's a lot of more games we could talk about where, you know, Jake Elliott will make the 50 yarders, but he'll miss the fucking 35 to 45 yarders or even fucking smaller than that. Um, it's a problem. So, when I do this off-season video, it's going to be like Jake Elliott's going to need some competition because I don't know. I honestly don't know because he's just very, very, very inconsistent um, at the most important times. So, that's got to probably change soon. Um, but, um, this overall, it was a, it was a battle. It was a total. It was a total battle today, and I thought the Eagles were going to lose. I thought. I thought that they were throwing the game away because of the picks, and I thought it was just. I thought it was just going to happen. Once, once Josh Adams actually fumbled the ball, um, I thought it was over at that point. I was like, "Yeah, they're going to. It's done." Like he fumbled the ball, and it's done. Um, but. <laughs> the Eagles came down with easy first downs to Zach Ertz and Darren Sproles and got up to the 20-yard line, got up real close, kicked a small yardage field goal to win the game with three seconds left. Um, so the scenarios that have to happen for us to do anything, um, Seattle has to lose tonight. Well, it's 12 o'clock now. I don't even know if Seattle even won today so the two scenarios to, for the Eagles to get into the wild card since Dallas has t uh, won the NFC East um, the Seattle Seahawks have to lose against Kansas City tonight and they have to lose against Arizona t uh, next week which I highly doubt they're gonna lose against Arizona and I don't know if they lost today so they have to lose out for us to get in now the Vikings have to lose one more game and that's against the Bears next week and with one loss for the Vikings, we will be in the wild card. Philadelphia Eagles will take a wild card spot, but the um, I think the the Lions were up nine nothing today against the uh, Vikings. They ended up you know getting killed like twenty eight. I don't I forgot what thirty. I don't even know what the hell it was, but the Vikings torched them uh, today. So the Chicago Bears next week are still playing. Are still playing for a bye week. Still. They're still playing for a bye week. So that's all up to them. So, so far, I haven't heard any news about them putting in backups or anything like that. So I'll keep informed on that stuff. But um, I have a feeling that the Bears are going to have all their starters in next week against Minnesota. And we got to be Chicago Bear fans next week. Okay? We did them the favor. We did them the goddamn favor of... <laughs> Of getting rid of the Vikings in the NFC Championship game. So maybe hopefully they can repay us the favor and help us out a little bit um, with this, you know, with a win against the Vikings would be nice. So I'll be a Chicago Bear fan next week, um, <laughs> regardless. So that's pretty much it. I'd probably go on this Bears Vikings game more than Seattle losing two in a row, <clears throat> losing out pretty much. But that's as close as we're going to get. But no matter what happens, if we do win this game against the Redskins, if we do win this game against the Redskins, um, 
I'm not going to be upset if the Vikings end up winning this game next week. I'm not going to be upset because I'm, you know, I'm just glad that they won out the rest of their games. Just think about it, guys. Four games this year by last possession we lose. Four games we lost by last possession. Choke, choking in games. Would have bet we would have won the East fucking a week or two ago. Um, but it is what it is. We made mistakes. The coaching staff's fucked up. And changes have to be made, unfortunately. Actually, <laughs> unfortunately, but fortunately, which is a good thing. So, um, the Redskins, they have fucked up our seasons, man. They have, what was it, 2000, what, 14, 15, 15 when DeMarco Murray came over and we, you know, Ryan Matthews and all these guys came over with the Chip Kelly era. And the last game, we just totally fucked up. You know, they pretty much took us out of the playoffs by that game. The Redskins, these are the most dangerous teams to, to fight at the end of the year. The teams that are out of it are the most dangerous because they're going to play really hard um, to ruin it, especially if it's a division opponent. So we're going to be over at FedEx Field, and I hopefully expect a shit ton of Eagles fans at that game. So that's what I'm going to watch out for, and that's what we're going to get prepared for next week. Injury-wise for this game, Alshon Jeffrey just had cramps, but he's been battling the whole Novacare complex. All the players have been battling illness. Um, other than that, we're pretty damn healthy. Other than what we've lost, we're healthy. Um, but I was really proud of Nick Foles today. He fought today. He got hit. He got back up. He did what he had to do. We beat the fucking refs, and we beat the goddamn Texans. We beat another top-notch team. That looks – that's <laughs> another team that seems to be going forward. But, you know, you're at the end of the year with a good record. You can clinch the AFC South, and you lose fucking Demarius Thomas for the year with an Achilles injury. He got carted off the field. He's got an Achilles. He's going to be out. You lose a receiver, another receiver. And then, you know, uh, one of their corners, uh, I think, it, I forgot his name. I don't want to say his name wrong. But one of the corners um, had a really bad shoulder injury or a neck injury, a really bad neck injury. So I don't know how long that's going to be either. But, you know, they're, now they're suffering from this game as well as we really didn't other than Jason Peters going out. Vitae kind of picked it up. But I saw Dallas Goddard blocking Clowney once and he got, to he got, oh, he got destroyed by Clowney. Um, which wasn't a good matchup at all. Vitae had a little bit of trouble. Um, so, Vitae had a few holding calls when we got the Josh Adams touchdown. They got, you know, put back. Uh, lost 10 yards on that. So, they'll, uh, some shit hurt us today. But, you know, uh, you know, some stupid calls by the refs. And uh, other than that, like I said, I'm only critiquing because I'm making a video. But I don't give a shit. We won the game. It's a W. We beat the Rams last week. We beat the fucking Texans this week. We beat two very good football teams the past few uh, two weeks. So now you're on to the last game of the year is the Redskins. And we need to go take this shit. And we need to fucking pray to the fucking Chicago Bears and their fans that they get this fucking win next week. And that's it. And what this looks like right now is if the Bears win against the Vikings, the Eagles will take on the Dallas Cowboys in the wild card round. It's crazy. It's crazy. Um, but that's all I really have to say, guys. Other than that, um, I've been working on a lot of other shit. Off-season videos are coming soon. I got a lot of prospects to talk about, so we'll get that shit going when it happens after next week. I've decided to not do it early. Um, I'd, I'd like to do it right after the last game. Um, so uh, I'll start doing that when the time comes. So uh, that's about it, guys. So fly goes fly, guys. Ski mask on. <laughs> I wish I had mine. I can't even fucking find it. Hence why I'm not wearing it. So I'll see you guys later. So shake squad up, fly, let's fly.